at this. Look at this. It's perfect. Chicago is perfect. Huh? Upset that The Rock wasn't saying anything. The Rock's got your attention now, doesn't he? That's how it's felt over the last six weeks with the Birmingham Stallions as they've been clearing shop, overall absolutely dominating the United Football League since we kicked off the season in Arlington. After beating opponent after opponent, we're about to see a massive test as they're playing the XFL's best with the soaring 5-1 St. Louis Battlehawks. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be discussing not only the biggest game of the United Football League season so far, but we'll talk about the rest of the week and how the other teams are looking coming into Week 7, like Arlington or Houston and their struggles, or Michigan and San Antonio with their potential in the playoff picture. So, let's talk about it. Firstly, let's just say that Jake Bates is by far the best kicker and will 1000% get an NFL contract if he continues going on the consistent accurate path he's been going on all season long. Like every post I saw on Instagram, he couldn't miss in Detroit. And that's true, as he went 5 for 5, including not only a 60-yard bomb, but also the game-winning kick from 42 yards out as well. Along with Bates, quarterback Danny Etling had an alright game as he had 16 completions for 200 yards and a touchdown with 55 yards on the ground as well. Overall, the game was a shootout with Arlington ending with a massive Jake Bates kick for the win, winning 27-28 keeping their playoff hopes alive, as the rest of the USFL conference, being Memphis and Houston, is having pretty rough seasons, both being 1-5 and five, and probably being eliminated from the playoff spot depending on the next week. This week though, Michigan will be playing the DC Defenders, who are also still trying to fight for a second playoff spot after beating the San Antonio Brahmas, who were tied for the first place in the XFL conference. DC has had an underwhelming season so far, mainly due to losing big time pieces early on, like Abram Smith, who would have dominated the UFL if he was playing. Other than that, Jordan Tamu also has struggled in some games this season, but he's still that dynamic quarterback that can make plays and win games for you. DC is going to have a winnable rest of the season with the main challenges coming from Michigan this week and also St. Louis the following week after. Though they did beat San Antonio so if there was a tie for second place by the time the season was over, DC would sneak their way into the playoffs. How could the Arlington Renegades make a potential playoff push if they wanted to? Now I'd say no, mainly because they're an 0-6 team, haven't won a single game yet, and they're kind of in the same situation as Memphis as they're probably going to be eliminated from playoff contention within the next week. The Birmingham Stallions, like I've said, has just laid waste to the United Football League for the past six weeks, with their last win being against Memphis and the score being 39 to 21, they've already clinched a playoff spot due to the fact that number one, they've dominated. And you know, I probably should have seen this when the number one ranked offense led by double quarterback barrel shotgun with Adrian Martinez and Matt Corral was as explosive as when they were in the USFL with targets like the best tight end, Jay Sternberger, and wide receiver Deion Kane, or even the running back duo of Marable and Persons. Along with their defense being ranked second and first in rushing yards allowed per game. And number two, the USFL conference, like I said, when talking about Michigan, Birmingham and Michigan seem to be the only ones who've had success, as the Memphis Showboats and the Houston Roughnecks are both ranked last with a 1 5 record and will. But Birmingham is going to have a massive, massive test incoming, as the St. Louis Battlehawks will be flying in. Ha, flying in with the number two ranked offense and number one ranked defense. Essentially, this is the best versus the best, or even the early preview of the US, the UFL championship game four weeks before playoffs even start. And I absolutely love that. AJ McCarron has had a typical good year so far for him, throwing for 1,300 yards, 13 touchdowns with only two interceptions putting up MVP type numbers in a pretty competitive XFL conference despite Arlington's struggles this season. Hakeem Butler has been the main guy out wide as he's been leading the UFL in receiving yards with 478 and touchdowns with five. The thing is is that this type of game with these two powerhouses, it's going to be hard to determine like what's going to happen. 
I'd say that there's three potential ways, three potential outcomes that we could see this Saturday. Either one, it'll be an absolute shootout with the amount of firepower that each team has, and it'll be too much for either defense to try and stop these offenses as they're both the top two in the UFL. Number two, this game could turn into a blowout with, again, the amount of firepower that each team has, the doors could be blown off early as both these teams have different ways of approaching the offense, with Birmingham being more of a run-heavy type of offense as their quarterback is literally second in rushing yards in the league with over 300 yards, while St. Louis is more of a spread style of offense with more passing plays. And then three, lastly, the defenses of these teams will absolutely dominate and neither offense will be able to do much. With these two teams not only having great offenses, but having amazing defenses entering in this game. The trenches could be a massive part of this game to neutralize the offenses, specifically on the Stallions, as not only do they have six guys with at least one interception this season, but also they have defensive tackle Carlos Davis, who has six sacks in six weeks, Taco Charlton with four sacks, and Jonathan Garvin with three and a half sacks on him as well. This is a disruptive group that's looking to get to the quarterback ASAP. Though St. Louis also has defensive end Pita Talmoa Penu and Travis Feeney, who have eight sacks total between the two of them. Both these teams have a lot of momentum going for them, but who's going to capitalize on the early UFL championship opportunity to make the early statement that they're the best team right now? I'm going to pick St. Louis to win solely based off the fact that they have the best quarterback in the United Football League right now and have been on a terror, not only being the number one offense, but also being five and one since their week one loss. All right, and that is it for the video today. Thank you for watching and make sure to hit the subscribe button, but also comment down below on your thoughts of that of the UFL so far and how your team is doing so far. I definitely think it's been a great merger and I'm excited not only for this game, but also for the playoffs. Anyways, thank you so much and have a good one.